I think we could have a, a, one of our interviews just at the bar because, of course, we conduct a lot of our business um, at bars. So if we just sort of sit here, you sit there as well, and they're sort of looking at us and this, this beautiful collage of ladies behind us, and we get them to sit there and we just sort of... Or we could be behind the bar and have them sit here. No, we, it's too low a status, though, us being barmen. What we're doing is we're going to bring a group of individuals together and from them, we're going to choose our game, you know? Simple as that. You know, we're going to ask them a few questions, see what they're about, see what they can offer our team. And this is serious to us. This is a serious business. We're not conducting these willy-nilly. Okay, mate, you're my friend, you're in. Nah, not like that at all. I've got all these questions here that I've got off the internet and also written myself. Questions that I'm going to ask them individually and if they don't answer him right, it's so, sorry fella, you may have been my uh, my best man at my wedding. But that but does not mean that you are good enough to be in the game. We need people who respect us. Respect R us. R-E-S-C-P-T, find out what it means to, to us. us. To us. And more importantly than all of that, is that they all just have a heart of gold. You know, like underneath it all, when we're looking at them, we see that these people have a heart that's, that's full of gold. What I think is we should have the applicants sitting there, you know? Yeah, because they've got to have us as their focus. Absolutely. So we need to be controlling them. Dale, the... we've run out of milk. Kylie, you can't just come barging in here anymore. It's not the rumpus room now, it's our business. Yeah, I know, I've come here to help you. No, we don't... Dale, we don't have the time for this, mate. I've got something you can do. You can really help us... Do you want me to steal you... some stuff from the servo? No, no, I don't want you to steal some stuff from the servo. If you really want to help, draw us a real big tree. A big tree on a big piece of paper. I can do that. Great, just start right now. Whatever you want. Paint it in colour, do anything with it. But as long as it's a big tree. With big branches? Absolutely. Okay. Okay? It might take me a little while. Good. She's working for us, mate. She doesn't even know it. How's she working for us? What's this bloody tree thing? Well, you have to know the underbelly. So what better way than a family tree spurting out? And you have the small players down the bottom, and the top you have the big timers like the Don, you know, the, the triad master and all the rest of them. That way you can show our growth up the tree. Good thinking, Smiley. buddy. Good thinking. I like that. <laughs> Start with, I'd like to thank you all for coming down. <coughs> Thanks for coming along. Dale and I, we're forming a business. And the reason we got all you fellas here today is we're looking for potential candidates in this business of ours. Well, it's a business, but it's a gang. A gang business. I was in a gang bang once. Yeah, well, it's not that kind of gang. This is serious business, so we need serious people. Those who are serious, we will seriously consider. Those who aren't serious, seriously, get lost. <laughs> we're gonna give you a few questions and see if you are the business-minded people that we're looking for. Starting with uh, Mr. Cutter Brooks. How you going? Cutter. No worries. Come this way, thanks, mate. I'm up, mate. fellas. Wish me luck. Can I grab one of your beers, Cutter? Oh, yeah, mate. There's a couple on the table. Through here. Through there, mate. Thank uh -huh. you very much. <laughs> oh, fuck it. No, let the shit out. Here, boys, thirsty. I'll make a bit of brew, you know. Got my own homies here. Oh, I'll give oh, it yeah. a go. Gotta keep them cold, you know. Whoa! Whoa. Hey, that, hey? <laughs> That's a special one, that one. You can have that one there. Oh, yeah! <laughs> a bit too much oh, gas in that yes. one. Cheers oh, to you, boys. Cheers, Cheers mate. Cha ching Fucking Cheers. ching Lovely. <laughs> Enjoy. This is me vanilla special. I'm trying to make a vanilla beer, you know. It's a bit gassy, mate, but you'll be right. Mmm. Mm. Good stuff. How are those aftertastes for you? Yes. Well, can't drink in right. business, so anyway. I'll just put this to the side. And <laughs> anyway, we've got to ask a couple of questions, oh, yeah. and um, would like your, your honest response. All right, now, now, Cutter, apart from your lovely brew here, what else can you offer to our team? Team and meat are spelt with the same letters, right? And I'm not one of those bloody hippie vegetarian types. You know what I'm saying? 
What can you offer to the team? Cheap buds for a start, man. You know, you always need them. I could make you bongs out of Coke cans, pencils. I even used a cylinder head once out of a V8. That was, whew, blow your fucking head off, that did. How would you feel if we said no to drugs? I'd feel like you were someone that could be talked around. I'm very much a man that's into training. I like to train a lot of the time. If I'm going shopping in a supermarket, I'll just crawl under the aisle, dive roll through a stack of chips. The whole time I'm thinking, who's the enemy in this situation? Being a con artist, it's an art. It's a fucking very fine art indeed, you know? Like, I like to consider myself a blank canvas. I've put down my criminal history background, my education background. I'm pretty inventive about getting stuff to sell. You know how you said you were starting up your own business? Well, I, uh, uh, I brought my golf clubs along. They look familiar. They're my dad's. They were just out the front before. Oh, oh mine must still be out there. I, I've just picked up the wrong bag. How would you describe... Is that it? Nice Is that an Uzi? Just for crowd control. My real passion is the knife. It's good to have a man of passion. If you were an animal, what type of animal do you think you would be? Would you be a herbivore or a carnivore? What the fuck does that mean? What would you rather be? A big fish in a small pond or a small fish in a big pond? A big fish in a small pond. That way it's just BAM! Have a look at me. What sort of fish is it? Can I choose the fish? If there were lots of them mermaids around, you know, I'd clean the barnacles off the nipples for them. This is really weird for me, sorry, because like, don't I already have this job? No, you don't have this job. Think yourself as a superhero. What type of superhero would you be? What kind of powers would you possess? The, the ability to, to light cones at a single look. Yeah, smoke up Johnny. <laughs> I want x-ray vision eyes. That's what I want. I might use it for evil purposes, you know? I'd love to be Tarzan. The muscular body, the tan. <laughs> Hypnotic. Hypnotic? Uh -huh. See? Okay. Then what would you do? I could say, give us all your money. Hip hypnosis. That's not, bad. That's, not yep. bad. That's not bad. Okay. Or give us a sandwich. If a spaceship landed outside right now, would you get in it? I don't know if you'd walk in straight away. Might offer them a cup of tea or something. Do you know what I mean? But I definitely want to fly the rocket. I definitely want to have a go. If it's a big enough spaceship and there's enough room, and they open up the door, does it have a bell so they know I'm outside? If a spaceship landed outside right now... Shit. We were wrong. Just, just if there was a spaceship... If there was a spaceship... Would you get inside the spaceship? Look, why not? Yeah, I'm always up for a ride. Where would you get it to take you? Um, well, you know... Is it alright? They're not listening or anything, are they? Where would you like to go in this spaceship, spaceship. of yours? i go to Nam. i go back to Nam. Yeah. Who wouldn't? Landon loan, maybe? Anywhere in the universe. Do they have Lennon loans in other places? If you were shipwrecked on an island, what would you bring with you? Can, can I have any other human beings on there? Just myself? I can't take a chick. Some chick that I'd, you know, want to... I don't know. It depends on what's there. It depends on the situation. It's just stupid. I feel retarded. Trampoline. So you could get the coconuts in the tree. Definitely a knife. A mirror. I want to talk to my own reflection, that way I keep myself company. But you'd never be able to get a word in because the other person keeps on talking when you talk. But he's just like me and that's what I love him. What if I said to you, war is not the answer? Well I'd have to say you're probably right. I don't really believe in war. I like it, but I don't believe in it. You're not coming out? You told me you're no, coming out. No, I said we're getting out. I'm getting out. Let's, Malcolm, let's move Malcolm, on from here, alright? Um, Malcolm, we're straight. Malcolm, we're just going to have to wrap this up, mate. We'll definitely consider you for the position. Okay.